Welcome to Extra Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is the channel where we do casual, what is it? It's not the main channel. Ca <laughs> no, don't no, fall don't. into that It's again. the quick, quick, easy, laid back reviews. Yes. We also yeah. have a main channel. Yeah. Am I not supposed to say that? <laughs> no. Uh, and this is the Audi e-tron GT. It's not the RS. Not the RS. And I'm actually glad about that because the RS isn't that different. It even has the same batteries, same motors. It's just yeah. it's just tuned differently. There's different things they've done with the like uh, brakes or whatever. With the probably. software, yeah. Yeah. And it's okay. fifty grand more. This is a hundred fifty grand. Like I know the software engineers is a difficulty, and is you get paid really well. But come on. But I think I think it's just to launch and show your friends how fast it is. That's, yeah. But like, what think of what you value. can impress your friends with for fifty grand. Like fifteen grand gets you a theater room, and ten grand you could take them on vacation and be like, don't worry about it. Like, <laughs> fifty grand 50 just grand. to do a launch. Yeah. Anyway. So for 130 Canadian, which is the same, we sat, you know, this is actually a very similar landscape to when we did the RS7 recently in the canyons. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Temperature is <laughs> pretty much equal. And we, we asked ourselves, the RS7, which is 130,000 Canadian, how right. we, there is now this in existence, which is 130,000 Canadian. In fact, I suspect, I think this is about 135, because it had the premium package. Is this of a V8? No. Oh. No. Oh. So it's dual motor though. It is dual motor. Dual motor. And it's not quite as powerful as the RS7, but I think it's good for 0 to 60 in like 4.1 or 4.3, somewhere around that range. That's reasonable. But, okay, first of all, it's very cool looking. I just want to say. It's very handsome. It's very cool. It's actually, it's, it's, this is a bit weird because when I see this car in photos, I think the Taycan looks better. But when I see this car in person, I think this looks better. Especially from this like low quarter angle here. When you I, see I the, do like the, the Taycan's front lights though. Yeah, it also makes a really cool noise from the outside. It's like, woo. Is it? Yeah, you're very Tony oh, Stark nice. when you pull up. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, look, it's a good looking car. Um, um, can we drive it? Like, because that's really what matters here. It, because the RS7 is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I actually, of all the Audis, the RS6 and the RS7, I find them to be the most like dynamically exciting right now, the, other than the R8 or whatever. That's because right? you got to pay out the ass for them. Yeah, exactly. So for the, exactly the same price. And I, I understand that it's a lifestyle choice and you want an EV instead of a gasoline car, but it's got to be a little bit, you know, interesting to drive, Well, right? the, the problem I think this has now is, it, this is one of the earlier premium EVs fr from Germany. Right. And we're about to get the BMW i4. So, so just to be clear, there was one, there was an RS. Or the BMW i4 is about to get us, depending on what you look like. It's pretty yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, angry yeah. looking. I don't really the, like the look of that thing. Yeah. But the uh, but there is an RS e-tron GT in my local showroom for a hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars, and the i4 comes in under a hundred thousand dollars and is almost yeah. as quick. So I think to the consumer. Do they actually see the, is there a hundred thousand dollars difference? And I think this is going to be in trouble really quickly until they bring out an i4 fighter, a cheaper version. That's my. Okay. Uh, can we rock, paper, scissors for who drives? You get in my head, man. Yeah, I do. You it's get a, in my it's head. So, it's You're mind freaking me right now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm mind freaking you. <laughs> you told me I'm not allowed to swear as much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, all right. We're going we're gonna to go on three, two, one, go. And we throw. Ready? Okay, yeah. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I wouldn't, if I was a horse, I would not bet on me. <laughs> All right, okay. inside. Yeah, so this doesn't have like the upgraded leather package, right? No, it has the premium package, so we've got heated rear seats. Uh, okay. But it doesn't, the leather package gives it ventilated front seats, massaging front seats. Okay. It makes more things leather. It doesn't have wood trim here, so this is actually... This is kind of a cheap plastic. It, it does feel a bit cheap, yeah, for that price point. It feels like the plastic... It's literally the perfect example of a plastic that you have in a car when you didn't opt for a thing. Yes, and, <laughs> and that's, that's that, that shouldn't is. exist at a $130,000. No, it shouldn't. And I think that's going to be the theme for all the stuff I really like about this car, and I do really like it, and I, I've been living with it. This is Thomas's first time driving it ever. I... The, the theme is that it's just it's just a bit too expensive. Oh, okay, so there's actually something interesting. So there's a little bit of a fake noise, right? Yeah, it's, it's, well, they call it E-sound, and then the RS gets E-sound plus. Okay, no, it's there, because you don't know why? It sounds like a really refined gasoline motor. Like, just, I don't, have, I don't even hear on the mics, but... There's, they've actually put bass. 
they're using like the subwoofers right to create like a low end actually i really like that how's that? you wearing a beanie today yeah it was really cold out yeah and yeah. i gave myself a haircut well, yeah. i got i got some new hair trimming kit right. for uh christmas and i cut my own hair it's, it's common knowledge now yeah. i talked about it on instagram and i did a really bad job you just kind of look a bit yeah. like that guy from that murder mystery on netflix that's Shouldn't be, shouldn't be in prison, but is. I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking the, the, Anyway, um, so yeah, living with this. So I still get range anxiety because this, the other thing about this price point, and I know the EPA doesn't, uh, people have probably got better than, than the EPA suggested, but it's cold right now. Yeah. This has a range of 383 kilometers. We'll put the mileage up in, in freedom units. Right, we're in dynamic now. Foot down. It's not slow, you know? No, it's quick. 4.1 seconds. It's, yeah. Again, it's just over half a second slower than the RS, which is 50 grams. And the throttle pedal is well calibrated. I got chewed out in a comment for calling it a throttle pedal. I know that it's not connected to a throttle body. I get that. But the accelerator pedal, I'm sorry. Yeah. When Thomas listens to Spotify, he still says, play the tape. <laughs> this is right, yeah. And you also notice we just went over something that in the Autozam made the whole car do this. Yeah, yeah. And the the yeah. suspension in this yeah. is incredible. Yeah. I, I was driving it over and I'm just, I'm so impressed. No, the ride is really, really nice. You're in dynamic. This is adaptive air suspension. You're right. So this yeah. car is lowered, okay. it's stiffer. Let's bring it back to comfort right now for a second. Okay, so here's, here's a thing that is really, really important. And this is what a lot of, I feel like the startup, like what is it, Sony just announced? A new so yeah, Sony's getting whatever, whatever it is, right? Like these new kind of startup EV makers, the one thing that they're missing is, is dec centuries, decades for sure of engineering cars and chassis, right? But when it comes to actually making the car drive like a car, this is, this is bang on. This is really, really good. I like this significantly better than the Taycan from an everyday perspective because the Taycan was a little bit too harsh. I also, well, the Turbo S. The you, Turbo S was. You also had that base rear wheel I, drive. I, I did drive that one and the only thing that that felt was heavy. Right. The ride was, was better. Doesn't, doesn't this feel just more like a car? This feels more like a car than any EV I've driven? And the interior is different Maybe. actually. Like the R, so I prefer this interior to the Taycan. The, the spaceship thing on the Taycan is kind of cool. Yeah. But this is more intuitive. Instead of, on the, on the RS7 or the RS6 models, and in fact, all the new AA, A6, there's a second screen here. So all the, the heater seats, love, it's all haptic feedback now I on this. I love having these buttons, We've got seriously. actual buttons. And the steering wheel still, and I love that steering wheel. It's great. So, for, but, you know, we still, we still deal with the similar issues as the Taycan. The back seats are not massively roomy. Something like the Lucid or the Panamera, you know, those sort of equivalents are going to be more spacious. I know the Panamera is ice, but... I actually love the feeling of this powertrain. They've done such a good job. Do you job. want more power? Would you pay 50 grand no, more? No, not, not in a... For not, another half second? No, not, not in a second. Because, like, this, yeah, this feels like it's got all the torque that you need. It honestly does. So right now, you're not driving on any regen. But if you flick the panel shifters twice, that's the maximum regen I've been able to put it in. And it, it's not aggressive. Okay. It just feels like you're in gear. Yeah, this just kind of feels like I, I, you know, I dropped it into second gear and I'm letting the car slow me down. But I wouldn't even say it's as aggressive as second gear. I would say it's more no. like a third or fourth. You're probably right, yeah. So um, you're noticing, so the turning circle in this is pretty good, but yeah, this cool. doesn't have active rear steer, which you can get. Can you? I don't think I'd want it, honestly. I, I've had too many bad experiences lately with, uh, with, with the EQS. With the EQS, with active yeah. rear steer. I just... You see how easily you just did all that, by the you way? You just don't, yeah, I just like, this is actually fine to use as well, I don't mind that. The experience of this car is just ease. Oh, yeah, it's not slow. Oh, and the brakes feel great too. As a, as a passenger right now, I feel so confident, like in, not in your driving, but just. <laughs> Thanks. But, the, but it's got that, the but, VAG effect. It does, the steering is too numb. The steering is too it numb. It is absolutely and too numb. Like, this is like even worse than normal Audi. But and even in dynamic, it doesn't accurate, it doesn't change. It's accurate. Like I can place the car. Yeah. I'm just getting zero zero feedback from the road. Um, and that won't change in dynamic. And that's I think no. that's one of its biggest issues. Is is it's it's is not a sports car. No. So at its price point, it struggles. It is a great car, but it just isn't. It's not king of anything really, apart from interior ergonomics, which I really really like still. Right. In, in the range is. That's what I mean, even it's the range. It's just not, yeah, it's just not enough. It's just not quite enough. Do you know what I mean? Like, like if this had the range of a, of a Plaid, or even just a, a long, Model S long range, yeah, yeah. then 
there like for the price this would be a choice in two seconds over any model s absolutely but yeah. it doesn't have that in fact it this doesn't. has less range than a long range model three uh, uh, ionic five oh uh, yeah from hyundai you know yeah so that uh, again epa rating if people have hyper mild them more than good for you but I'm, I'm doing epa only here i really do like the idea that you can just get in and drive this though there's nothing in here even with the gauge cluster and everything, like they've made the tack like a tack. Like it's giving you percent of how much you're using. And you, if you press right? view, it still does the, the kind of, you know, all the different it still things. still gives you all the stuff, right? But like, but what I like about this is that there's nothing in here that doesn't feel conventional. So, and you know what? It even actually, it's been tuned so that it builds torque as you start to get up into higher speeds. I don't want to say up to the revs, that's not a thing. Well, it is, but that's not what's actually happening. So it, it has a very, very natural feel. If it, if it had 200 kilometers more range, I think it would be really... It would be incredibly compelling. But the problem I have, and I'm going to take it back to the RS7 question in a second, is if you got into the i4, which we haven't driven yet, but if you were to get into the i4 M50i tomorrow, and, yeah. it, and it drove similarly with more range and 50 grand less, 50 grand is, is too much money to count out the weird face. So, so I'm, I, but the things that I like about this would actually translate, I think, to a i4 competing priced Audi. God, the ride is good in this. Isn't it good? It's so good. So this is like a better riding RS7. Yeah. You don't get to enjoy the V8, which is a wonderful V8 in that RS7. It is. The, the downshifts on the canyons, it was wonderful. Yeah, it is, and, and, and I do like that, but I like that, oh God, that ride is unbelievable. That's really, unbelievable. Really, really impressive. Yeah. But I, I, I'm really, really enjoying, really enjoying All right, two this. questions for you then. Yeah. This versus a similarly priced Lucid. Try and pretend that the Lucid Air is not as powerful as the one we drove, not as much range. Um, I think that, that's actually a really difficult question. That's tough, right? My, my, my heart says Lucid because it's new and fun. Yeah. But like my brain would say, get this because you know there's a dealership network and there's a you know we, it's, it's a known entity. It right? lose range though. I don't think it competes on the range front. No, and then the range is the other thing, right? So like, but yeah, but for if you're getting one of these, you're probably in a situation where you have a charger at home and you're going to whatever office or thing that you work at. Oh, you can have a 150 kilometer commute. And still I say fun. that though, but this is very much like a real estate agent's car. What do you mean? It is. A it successful is. real estate agent. Yeah, very successfully a Toronto real estate agent. All I have yeah. to do is sell one house and you can buy 13 of these with the commission. We've noticed some weird stuff That's though. That's good. So, you know, we've got a lovely moonroof, but we've, yeah. some of the stuff is weird, like the red lights, these are flickering. They flick, there's like a you voltage issue. Yeah, you won't while. be able to see it on camera, but there's some weird stuff going on there. Yeah. Um, but the, the steering wheel still isn't heated somehow. No, you can't, it, with the leather package, it is. Sure, but that, it's $130,000 a car. I know, but for five <laughs> grand more, I, I don't know why anyone, you know, a bit of con consumer advice. If you get this, get the extended leather package, yeah. get the ventilator seat. It all comes for five grand or whatever it is. Ventilated seats, extra leather, massaging seats, which I never use, heated steering wheel. Uh, I mean, it's a no brainer really, but this does have the bang on lost and sound system. It's pretty good. Yeah. And in these cars, it's, and you know, another thing, sorry, I've, I've got to mention, which we haven't really done much of, is highway driving. It's really silent. Is it? Yeah. Like the, the wind noise and stuff, right? Yeah, like you're going you know, 80 now. Yeah. It's not that different to this on the highway. Yeah. So. I mean, you know, this this is this car is a win. I mean, if it's it's a bit it's a bit too much money, but if you value the things that this thing delivers, then it's a no-brainer for you, right? This versus Taycan. Um. <laughs> stumped him. He can play rock paper scissors. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I think I think I, I think I would do this to be honest. I think I would do this. Just so you just want a fifty thousand dollar rebate. Yeah, exactly. Or go live in whichever government gives you that. Yeah, yeah. Go, go live in that state, province. 